it's not just about having cable services. This is about people having access to what is going on in the community. Many rely on it every day, but access to critical information is now harder and harder to get. Thousands of cable and internet customers are being left in the dark in one Northeast Ohio community, adding to our digital divide. The lifeline being pulled away with a little explanation. Only on News 5 tonight, 5 on your side investigator Joe Paganakis when digging for answers on a cable company's collapse in East Cleveland that has the state issuing hefty fines. Joe? Well, residents here in East Cleveland are pretty upset about their leaders here at City Hall saying they haven't done enough to restore lost cable service for the past three months. This cable station is, is a disaster right now, and I think they'll, they'll be out of business in the next two weeks. East Cleveland Councilman Nathaniel Martin outlines the dozens of complaints from residents after East Cleveland cable suddenly shut down, cutting multiple channels and limiting internet service. The gradual collapse starting back in August after multiple financial difficulties forced the Ohio Department of Commerce to conduct an investigation, fining the company more than $30,000 for a lack of service. It's about 30 stations that have gone out. I have heard that there's internal problems within the family that own the business. This is about people having access to what is going on in the community. The Euclid NAACP believes East Cleveland City Hall and Mayor Brandon King should be doing much more to try and restore critical cable service to the city. It also shows a um, immorality, so to speak, of how the people and the residents of the city of East Cleveland have been treated throughout this whole administration. East Cleveland leaders say at one point Spectrum Cable was thinking about moving into replace East Cleveland Cable, but now that deal appears to be off the table. There was a company that wanted to assist with this, but because of the financial issues that are going on in East Cleveland, they decided to pull out. The Euclid NAACP believes that there are no other cities in Northeast Ohio that would allow this to happen to residents. This is just not about being comfortable watching TV and having cable. This is about number one, they should have it. They're allowed to have it. They need it. And not only that, but you know, these things are some of their functions in life. And so far our calls to East Cleveland Mayor Brandon King and the West Virginia owner of East Cleveland Cable have not been returned. Nathaniel Martin says he'll now reach back out to the leaders of Spectrum Cable to see if a deal can be reestablished. Reporting here in East Cleveland, I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis.